Maybe until qualifying time, I'll continue with the grading system for these horses just to let you know how the horses have progressed and where they're sitting. An A-plus would be a horse that I would believe would be a state contender, uh, a pretty good state contender. Uh, a normal A would just be a horse that would be a stake horse. Um, a minus, a horse that I want to see get there. Anything out of there would be somewhere between grassroots, Buckeye, Stallion Series, like a B level horse type horse. Um, but again, so there's nothing wrong with that. And secondly, they could be moving up, moving upwards either soon or during the summer season. And then we have uh, some race horses also. Um, you know, call a spade a spade. It is what it is. I think all of our two-year-olds that are able to qualify will qualify on June 12th. We are going to have some horses. Uh, I just told Mario Tay, well, were we welcome? I just want to go easy with this filly and make sure her legs are right underneath her when we qualify her. We know she's fast. We know she's smart. She's learned everything she needs to all winter. I have no problems with this filly. So a mile and a half, 225 speed for the next week. Um, if she looks really, really good doing that, we'll put her in the bike and go in 210. But I can't, and that might even be at Mohawk. I can't imagine that we're going to be in a big hurry to snap her behind the gate and go mile 25 at the firm. That's not going to happen with War We Welcome. I had told one of my partners of War We Welcome today, I said, um, he was at the firm, and I told him, uh, I don't want to see her qualify until June 26th or so. Uh, right before the first stake race is when I want her qualified. That's how talented I believe this filly is. We're not going to tempt fate. We know she's uh, a little more fragile because she's a big, heavy filly, and I don't want to see anything happen to her. So where we welcome and the likes of her are going to take their time, but for the most part, everybody's going to qualify on June 12th. We are going to start with Adrenaline Rush. Adrenaline Rush is an A+. plus. He looked great yesterday. I did clip him. Halfway down the lane, Blue Monk was running out a little bit. Adrenaline Rush came in a little bit. Um... You know, we joked about it after, but thankfully he'll be fine. He had a couple little stitches, um, but Kevin thinks he'll be fine, and so does the vet. So Adrenaline Rush, although he'll miss next week, we have six weeks. He come a half of 58 yesterday at the farm. There'll be no problems with Adrenaline Rush. Argento, I'm going to give him an A rating. Uh, I don't know if he's a, a Sire Stakes horse or a Stallion Series horse, but he'll be a race horse. He went a mile in 2.8 yesterday, last half in a minute, I think, 2.8, 2.9. Uh, but looked very, very good doing it. And James was extremely happy with him. Barbie's crown. I've given Barbie's crown the summer off. So I'm not going to give her a grade right now. Uh, Steve Palermo and I own this filly. Her hind ankles were filling up the last little while. We can manage them. Um, but I I, I uh, had to pick two horses or drop two horses off at the vet to have surgeries. We had a screw put in Cabernet's hind, ses, uh, hind pastern. And Holy Chick had a little OCD taken out from behind her sesamoid. So... I wanted to, I called down and I said, do you guys do x-rays and ultrasounds? I just got a Philly, I just want to know when I go to bed tonight that, that we're on the right track here. Uh, and Oral Cleary is the surgeon down there. She said, sure, I'll, I'll take a look at her. That's fine. She did. She took a look at her. She said, she's getting a little stretched out. She said, from what I told her, the Philly is getting much bigger now. She's gone through a huge growth spurt. She's working very hard. She said, all of what you're telling me is leading to those hind ankles, she goes, she might be fine, but she's going through a growth spurt and you're putting a lot of pressure on her ligaments, tendons, a lot of pressure on her, on her, on her skeletal structure, if you will. She's under stress and she's been in 217. So I said, this is a filly I think is going to get a lot bigger, a lot stronger. She got weight and muscle to put on. So I simply called Steve. Steve and I talked about the filly and said, Hey, um, we could push forward, but you'd be flipping a coin. And when that coin lands on the wrong side she could get an injury one that we don't want to see her get so why don't we play this safe and uh simply give her give her a little time he said well listen if we're gonna give her a little time we might as well give her lots of time why don't we just kick her out until july or august i was surprised but i appreciate and i love being in business with with our partners right with all of you but especially people like steve that know the business know um that here's a filly that tries hard he picked her out she's well-bred she tries really hard. She's got a great attitude, great work ethic, and she's fast. So why poke the bear, as I say all the time? Where there's smoke, there's probably fire. And uh, let's nip this in the bud right now. So we kicked uh, Barbie's crown. We'll be kicking Barbie's crown out in the field for the foreseeable future uh, this week. There's nothing wrong with that. Both him and I are quite happy and fine with the decision we made on this filly. Uh, beef and cheddar. Beef and Cheddar has been fantastic. He's an A-plus all day long. There is an active uh, discussion in the barn who is the better horse. I suspect this discussion will continue straight into the fall. Blue Monk or Beef and Cheddar? Who's better? Uh, and then don't kid yourself. Adrenaline Rush. No free lunch. 
Warwe was up one a mile and two five last half and fifty nine on Friday also. Five horses, five pacing colts, all contending for that that crown, so to speak. James is a beef and cheddar guy. I love beef and cheddar, but I've gone with both of them extensively. I think Blue Monk, maybe for me, I, I don't know. It's razor thin. It might be a Wednesday, it's Blue Monk, and Saturday, it's beef and cheddar. Who knows? But for right now, I'm just very, very happy and lucky and fortunate to have two horses as good as them in the barn right now. So beef and cheddar, an A+, plus, no doubt. Braemar, A+, plus. there's no two ways about it. Braemar is the most heavily staked, talented horse we have so far. Him and Eternity Road are staked heavily, both very, very talented horses. Braemar, I have uh, a lot of hope in. A lot of hopes ride on the shoulders of Braemar. Really impressed with this colt. I think he's a very, very good horse. Can't wait to see him perform this summer. An A-plus for Braemar. Better's hope. Somebody asked me flat out today. I named five OSS pacing colts that I think are potentially gold standard horses. And not on the list is Better's hope yet. Because he has to earn it. Right? You're sure he was sick. He little cut his elbows. No big deal. Today he jogged fine. But he was a little bit sick uh, the last 10 days. And we had to give him time. He's going to have to play catch up. But... If I come on here and told you guys he's a gold colt, when I just talked about the five ahead of him, that would be a little foolish, wouldn't it? It's pretty simple. Earn it. Earn your stripes. Better's Hope is probably one of the best bred horses in the barn. Got a great pedigree. Got a great... Uh, his mother was fantastic, uh, fantastic race mare. Um, he's got good confirmation. He doesn't wear a boot, I don't believe. I think he just wears a head pole on the inside. Fast colt. He's got a lot to prove, so prove it. And that's where we're at with uh, Better's Hope. Blue Monk, as I said, just blew me away yesterday. Uh, just such a, a flawless, gated, beautiful animal. Big, strong colt. Doesn't wear a boot. I, I, I think he's just an incredible animal, and I really, really like him. Brilliant Corner is probably the surprise of the season. This was a horse that uh, I, I, I didn't even want to go with, to be honest. I didn't like, I didn't enjoy going with him. I didn't enjoy having him around. But uh, he showed flashes of speed. Could we somehow turn that speed into some sort of uh, focused energy? I didn't know if we could. And uh, he's been really good. Yesterday was the first day with no TQ for this horse. He's been hot, hot, hot all winter, all spring. Yesterday was the first day without TQ training. He was a little warm, but, but uh, I just got up and beat him with Roy Hill, I think. And he was very, very good yesterday brilliant corners showed me a lot of tenacity i'd like to see him race or train and race from off the pace so we'll see how we do next week with him in that regard but definitely i don't know if we'll put him in the a plus category but he's a racehorse would he be the grassroots types type maybe yet but he's definitely trending forward so brilliant corners a good looking colt for us so far broadway roll we got to get that right hind sesamoid crowd possibly get her knees done she's ready to go she's been in two six i've been very very happy with broadway roll was she awesome yesterday no she wasn't awesome in fact she was a, a watered down version of what she's been for the last six weeks but um that's not shocking we knew that there was that sesamoid was probably gonna have to be done again once more before uh the summer starts i think that time is here so we'll likely look in getting that done this week for now Broadway Roll, definitely, uh, is she a sire steak horse? Jeez, I don't know. Let's give her an A for right now. She's definitely an A. She's a, a good little race filly. She's going to do some do some damage this year. Let's see how much. Uh, Cambridge Star, fantastic yesterday. Again, he may not leave Canada, but he's a handy little horse. Johnny went a mile on 2.9, I think, with him yesterday and said he was very, very good. So good for Cambridge Star, good for Johnny. Kept him going, really liked him. Thought he did his work well. I'm going to give him an A also. Can't give him that A+. Plus. Don't know if he's a stake horse yet, but he's definitely going to be up in the race horse, racing in the stake. Uh, he may not race in the stakes. He may not leave Canada. We're going to have to give him an A-. minus. But he's in the A category. He looked good. Uh, can't muscle me. This is a filly I, I really want to give an A+, plus to, but I can't. She made that break yesterday for no particular reason. She looked good on the track jogging today. Uh, I was very happy with her and have been. I'd like to see more consistency out of her, but when she puts it together, she really, really looks good. Uh, we're going to work, work on her the next three weeks, see if we can't get her a little more confident in her gait and a little more consistent on the track. Uh, a horse we do not have to get more consistent, Captain's Maid. She was awesome yesterday. I wouldn't say she would be A-plus material just yet either, but um, she had an A-plus training trip yesterday, 
uh, very, very good. Left, moved to the front, sat in the two hole, um, came out down the lane and really busted up Broadway Roll, who, who I think is a pretty nice filly, but looked very, very, very confident in doing it. Excuse me. I'm going to give her an A also. Carry a big stick. He's turned out. I'm not going to give him a rating because he's turned out the same as, uh, um, what was the other little guy? Set the mood. They're both turned out in the field for the next month. Going to get some grass and a little R&R, &R, bring them back in. So we're not going to grade him. Cut the lines a B right now. She's a B steak filly, uh, overnight filly right now until she proves herself. I think she has the ability, has the talent. It's up to her. We can only put, you know, we can only, we can only put all the ingredients in a bowl. It's up to her to cook the muffin, so to speak. So, um, cut the line. Very interested to see what she's going to look like this week. Darling, please is a ways behind, but she's catching up. Don't really know what to say about her. Nice filly. Just, just like to see her. Uh, I got her on the list. Actually, three horses going to the vet. I got her on the list of the vet for Tuesday also. Danny had asked me to get her fluoroscoped before he got injured. So it's the least I could do is uh, get her fluoroscope. So she's going Tuesday to the vet. Also, <clears throat> Desperado, I'm going to stick to an A+. Plus. He didn't look A+, plus yesterday. I don't know um, what was up with him. I'm not really sure, but he's been fantastic. He was not fantastic yesterday. He was just so-so. But he's been great, and I believe he's a stake cold. I'm giving him an A+. Plus. Eternity Road goes out saying he's got to be an A+. Plus. Um, he's going to the vet Tuesday again. James said he was just a little softer than he liked yesterday. Looked like he was hitting himself too, so we may have to make some shoeing adjustments on Eternity Road. But for now, um, he's simply an A plus and headed for a little checkup on Tuesday. First glance, I'll give him an A. Uh, that was an A effort yesterday. Very good effort. First over, grind down the leaders and, and pace away down the lane. Very good mile. Two six last half fifty nine. I thought he was very very good. Fox Valley Britska made a break yesterday, but I believe he is an A plus state colt. Uh, a little bit work done on him also this coming week. Uh, James just lost him coming out of the turn, so we'll look to fix that in the coming week. Philly Fringes, I believe she is an A-plus stake filly. She is out in the field right now. She'll be coming back in maybe Friday. She's going to give her a, a few days to cool down, eat some grass, and relax. Girls with Swirls, I think she's a grassroots filly, to be honest. Um, just a horse, nice horse. Did her work. Yesterday was probably the best mile of her life. I was... Happy. Uh, I was happy with her on yesterday. Uh, yesterday. Gray is a new red. Let's not mark her today. I know what I think she is, but she's got to make it back. So she's got to go for a recheck, uh, the six-week marker. I, I would suggest that's June 15th-ish, June 10th-ish. So Gray is a new red. She gets a clean, clean bill of health. Uh, actually, she can go to the pool right now, I believe. If she gets a clean bill of health... Uh, she can start up soon. GW Chrome, uh, I scratched him out of yesterday. He was just a little lethargic all week. I would have turned him out in the field, but every time we turn him out in the field, we can't catch him. He's a lunatic in the field. He's not mean or anything. He just he won't let you catch him. Finally, he broke down and let Amy catch him or George catch him yesterday, but um, I jogged him today. He was great. I expect he'll be an A-plus stake horse all summer long. Holy chick, we're not going to grade her. She's injured. She's not even going to start back up until late summer. So, holy chick, uh, Philly, we had lots of hope for, but hopefully that will translate translate into a good three-year-old. There's nothing wrong with that. Maybe she just needed the time to mature. Uh, Italian Grit was so-so uh, yesterday. Hobbles were a little long. That was my fault. I set them for Johnny before he went out, and I never noticed until he was going to the gate that they were, in fact, a little bit long. So that's my fault. I apologize. But Holy Grit didn't run. He did his work very, very well and looked good. Uh, excuse me. Look good on the track yesterday. Uh, Iglera M A plus. Oh, sorry, Italian Grid. I believe is is a serious A plus horse for Indiana if he continues to pro progress in a forward manner the way he is. Uh, Iglera M A plus. Also, I think this is a great filly. The tenacity she showed yesterday was nothing short of incredible. Very happy with her. I'm a lovely ladies and A plus filly, but she's got to get consistent. We got to be able to bust her through the turns. We're gonna put a little set of toe weights on her this week. Switch her over to bandages behind, um, and take the bell boots off her and see if that helps. Um, but she's an A-plus filly. I'm Hill on Wheels. I'm going to give a B. Nice horse. Probably going to see him show up in Freehold. I doubt you'll see him at the Meadowlands right away. This horse got a lot of work to do, uh, but he, he seems eager to do it, so we'll continue to pour the work to him. Very happy with I'm Hill on Wheels' trip yesterday. Mario was. I was. 
Really, really looked good and looks like he's maturing into a nice little horse. Jazzy Judy, we're not going to mark her. She's off. Now, I still have that um, <clears throat> time frame in my mind where we can get her back moving. That will hopefully be uh, first part of July. We'll see how that works out, but Jazzy Judy's off right now. Jesse Balboa is a B horse. He's got a lot of work to do. We're going to have to tinker with him and get him, get him, change his shoes around a little bit and get him trotting properly. I was very unimpressed with him yesterday. Not the end of the world. I mean, he's a two-year-old trotter. That happens. Uh, I'm not too concerned. Keystone Raven also is not getting a grade because she's off until the later part of the summer. Also, uh, same type of injury, same similar injury to Holy Chick. But that happens. Uh, she'll be back. It's just a matter of time when. Uh, let's roll on. I'm going to give him an A minus. I, I think he could be a Buckeye horse, but he's definitely going to be a useful horse when he gets there. He went around 2 8, last half and 2 yesterday, last corner in 30 seconds. I thought the horse looked really, really good. Lincoln Hanover's been fantastic. He's an A plus horse. I believe our flag bearer in the state of New York, hopefully this year, will be Lincoln Hanover. Very impressed with the way this horse has looked throughout the last two months. He has looked awesome. Miss Meringue has been awesome the last three weeks. Spent some time on the track three weeks before her, but a little rough, but uh, rough around the edges the next week. But the last two training trips has been lights out and was nothing short of awesome on Friday. Very, very happy with her. Mama knows best. Back training, great. Mario said this is a legit filly. When he pulled her up, she she was the one trying to get to one my heart hand over yesterday. Uh, Mama knows best. I'm going to give her an A-plus rating also, as I did Miss Meringue. Momo, I'm going to give her Momo an A-minus. She's a steak filly. She's going to show more grit. I like her. I think she's got talent. I think she could get there. But she has to put in a more concerted effort. And I think a little more work over the next two weeks will get her there. Uh, my Jazz has been good in really tough yesterday. Really, really tough. A lot to, a lot to, to chew off there yesterday. But she's shown that she could easily be a steak filly and a good filly. We're going to go with an A-plus for her. No free lunch has moved from a C at Christmas to an A-plus for sure. He was awesome yesterday. Really impressed with the way this colt moves, his behavior, his work ethic on the track. Just a nice horse to be around. So no free lunch is an A-plus easily. So is Northern Blizzard. This is one of two of our very, very good steak colts, I think, for Ontario this year, Northern Blizzard walk on the moon. Both show a lot of talent, a lot of speed. Really excited to see what Northern Blizzard is going to do in the coming weeks. Off-road Hanover. Uh, Mario put him on the run yesterday. That was pretty easy to see. Even he said it afterwards. But he was coming to us down the lane. This horse has got a lot to offer if he wants to put it together and wants to do it right. I suspect he will. I hope he will. And I'm eager to see him start doing that. Perfect record was good yesterday also. In a little bit tough, but uh, showed a lot of tenacity also and did his work well. Mario was happy with him. Rito Sunshine looked terrible yesterday. Uh, Off-road Hanover, I'm going to give an A plus two also. And perfect record, I'm going to give an, an A minus two. He's got some work to do, but I suspect he's coming forward. I see him coming forward every week. I was impressed with him. So back to Rito Sunshine. Rito Sunshine was a C at Christmas. I think he's a B horse right now. He was not lame. He was great this morning when I jogged him. Really eager to see what he's going to do in the coming weeks. We are going to have to get those flip-flops off of him. Rose Run, why not? Not going to grade her right now. She's definitely an A-plus for the rest of her life from as far as I'm concerned. This affiliate ended up with a little line in her knee. Three weeks in the stall, three weeks in the pool, and then reassess. We'll see how that knee looks in, three, in six weeks' time. But uh, very, very talented filly. Roy Hill, A+. Plus. This is so far him and Desperado are going back and forth who, the, who I believe is the best colt for Ohio this year for us, for the stable.ca pacing colt. Uh, Roy Hill certainly looked like the better horse on Friday, but Desperado has been coming on big lately. So we'll see. I hope they both are very, very good. It'd be nice to see either of them be very good in Ohio, but I think our best horse right now after yesterday in real time was Roy Hill. Set the mood. I'm not going to mark him. He's out in the field for a month. He's gone out to Sean Breezewa's place. Him and Carrie Big Stick are gone out to run for a month. So admirable. Uh, I'm going to give her a B just yet. She's got a lot to put. No, I'm going to give her an A minus. I think if we get her there and she's ha and she's sound and happy, she's a steak filly, I believe. She's a nice filly, and I can't wait to see what she's going to do this summer in New York. Source Blue Chip, same thing. This horse got all. He's all heart and all pace, and he can go lots. Johnny went a mile two six with him yesterday. Said he was very very good. Stacy Hanover, okay yesterday. She made some big gains two weeks ago. She went a mile two six in a bit yesterday, which is lots for Stacy Hanover. 
Uh, let's see how Stacy looks on Monday, Tuesday, and, and after that. We'll see how she comes on. Now that I say that out loud, there's two shoeing changes I have to make when, when I'm done this video. Stacy Hanover is one of those shoeing changes. Sunshine in May was great yesterday. She was going to win her training set. Back to Stacy. A plus for Stacy. Sunshine in May, uh, we'll give her a B. She's a nice little overnight filly. Might be a prospect grassroots type horse. Uh, she was going to win her training set yesterday. Touched her knee and made a break coming into the last turn. But other than that, it has looked great. Horse that deceptively looked fantastic was Surreal Love. Surreal Love's just a really, really nice horse. Really impressed with Surreal Love. Can't wait to see what Surreal Love is going to do in New York. I'm giving this Colt an A+. Don't know if he's a Sire Stakes horse. He might be an Excelsior type, overnight type. But really impressed with what he's done. Thus, for our sweet ambitions, I'm giving a B. She could be an A+. Plus. I know she could if she wanted to be. She just doesn't have that killer instinct to her. I'd like to see it, and I haven't seen it yet. So, sweet ambitions gets a B. Tanzanite tricks. All he's number one horse overall. And to be honest, looked rather awesome on Friday. Um, I was very, very impressed with Sweden, but you guys didn't get to see her go. Um, I had uh, friendly fringes in there. Sweet Ambitions came first over and tried a mile in two, six, and three and was very, very good. That's My Girl continues to improve. Just looked like a million bucks again on Friday. Really, really impressed with That's My Girl. The Fat Cobra was a winner in 2-5, James. The Fat Cobra was excellent. 2-5, last half in a minute, last quarter in 30 seconds and looked really good doing it. Tipsy and Dixie was fantastic yesterday. I suspect she's two weeks from looking like the filly we've been saying she's going to be. Uh, she was good yesterday, very good. An A-plus for her. Fat Cobra's probably a B. That's my girl's an A-plus. Tanzanite Tricks, after yesterday, was an A-plus, but she is going to New Jersey, so let's call her an A-minus. And then uh, Sweet Ambition's a B. Um, Tipsy and Dixie is an A-plus for sure in my mind. Look great. Next couple of horses are a walk on the moon. It has been absolutely fantastic. A plus all the way across for him. Just a great colt with a great, great way of going. Moves very fluidly. Very, very impressed with walk on the moon. Where we was up 2-5 last half and a minute last quarter and 29 seconds yesterday. Can't do much better than that. He was nothing short of awesome. And then where we welcome. A plus for where we was up walk on the moon and where we welcome. She's been an A plus from day one. Uh, going to be very careful. Take our time with War We Welcome. But I suspect come first stake race, you're going to see her show up in a big way. Well and Down was nothing short of awesome yesterday. Absolutely flying on the end of it. Picked me off in Northern Blizzard. But go back and watch the video, see how fast she was pacing down the lane. Just looked absolutely awesome. And then Won My Heart Hanover was awesome. She was very, very good. Um, moved her at the quarter to the front. Again, both these fillies were talking A-plus fillies, I think. We all knew if Well and Down could put her head on straight and keep it on straight. She was an A-plus filly. Yesterday, hopefully, was the first start to her doing that. We will have to wait and see, but One My Heart Hanover has been great since day one. Just continues to be a fantastic filly. Really, really impressed with what she has developed into. So that's all your two-year-olds, all your three-year-olds, all your videos. We just got the burns left. I'll be back just in just a minute with all of the burns.